Historically, St George's Street was nearly half a mile long, running from the city centre to what is now Anglia Square. It ran along the line of a defensive ditch built around the year 900 and has been known by various names including Guildengate, Middle Street and Bridge Street. It appears to have taken the name St George's Street around 1900. Because of the original street's length, this video will look at the eastern side, the right hand side, and the next one will look at the western side. The first building we see is the Grade 1 listed St Andrews and Blackfriars Hall, historically used for a variety of functions including worship, a mint, a workhouse and for concerts. Immediately behind St Andrews Hall, this was King Edward VI Middle School, also known as Commercial School, which prepared its pupils for industry between 1862 and 1910. This was the Norwich Technical Institute, later Norwich School of Art and subsequently Norwich University of the Arts, dating originally from 1899. This is Blackfriars Bridge, originally dating from the reign of King Henry V, this particular one dating from 1783. This undated equivalent photo shows on the extreme right hand side the first building on the opposite side was the Blackfriars Tavern which closed in 1911. It had been located where these two trees are now and this is the equivalent view of the bridge from 1934. This area beside the river is called St George's Square and there was another lost pub on the other side of the square, that bin and those slabs marking the former site of the Cork Cutter's Arms until 1898. Moving along the street now, this is numbers 13 to 15 in 2023, and in 1938 the only thing recognisable is the university building beyond the bridge. This is the site of another former pub, the Corn Exchange Tavern at number 21, which closed in 1915. The street scene looking like this in 2023, and like this back in 1936. Turning around, these are numbers 25 to 27 in 1936, which together with number 29 were Grade 2 listed from 1972, with some parts dating back to the early 16th century. This is number 29. The location of those cars take the place of the buildings to the left in this photo, these buildings were demolished in 1937 to improve visibility at the junction. This shows the junction from the opposite direction together with the 2023 equivalent. Moving along a little further, this was the scene in 1912 when the city was badly flooded and this is how that area looks today. From this point to our left is Lowe's Yard and this is how it looked in 1937. Further along, looking back towards the city centre, this is number 49 in 1936, together with the 2023 equivalent view. Just beyond Cross Lane, and now looking out of the city, this is the view in 1939 of number 61, which today looks like this. This is Sherwin House, now retirement residential accommodation, but previously a brush factory dating from 1867. It's seen here just after its conversion to residential in 1992 and here derelict in 1983. This is number 63 to 65 seen in 1992 and 2023. The initials in this pla plaque refer to William and Anne Watson. It was originally a weaver's cottage and subsequently the King's Head pub until that closed in 1932. Number 65 to the left has been hit by graffiti. This is Cavill House, the final building on the 2023 St George's Street. This is the 1938 view and it's now time to see the remainder of the historic street. To get the equivalent view of these buildings necessitates me standing in the middle of the inner link road just to the west of the flyover. The remainder of the original St George's Street is now called Botolf Street and runs beside the stationery office. This was number 91 and 93 in 1936 which would have been roughly where those white lines are. 
This is number 99 and 101 in 1937, now lost under the stationery office, as are numbers 111 to 115, seen in 1938, with this being the 2023 equivalent, and number 117 in 1937, with the Crown and Anchor pub which had closed the previous year just beyond it, and seen on the right hand side of this picture with the city's original Odeon Cinema at the far end of the street. This is the 2023 equivalent. Looking back from the end of St George's Street looks like this, and looked like this in 1938. It's here that we will begin the next video, retracing our steps and looking at the opposite side of the street.